it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind but most of all enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. So Aquarius let's check out your cards for this week the 24th of October already. So the teacup tarot cards start off with your overall energy as the Knight of Teacups. Now the Knights come charging in, it's a fast energy moving in and the Knight of Teacups says stay balanced, stay emotionally balanced. She goes far too fast on this motorbike which it looks like she is with the gravel flying up from the back wheel, she'll wobble. So emotional balance, taking things steady, slowing down this week is key for you. Your help or your hurdle, Cart 21, the world says job well done, completion of a project, time to celebrate. Very, very well done. And just as importantly as that, where are you going to next? Time for you to plan this next adventure. Moving on up, moving up to the next level. The Queen of Wands comes in and says, be confident, have belief in yourself, you can do this. Yes, I can needs to be your mantra this week. The Queen of Wands is an authority figure in the deck and she can manifest exactly what she needs when she needs it really easily. Look here, she's manifested a pot of tea and a cake, just like that. She's confident that she can because she's learned how to. And she's happy to share that information with anybody else. So it could be somebody coming in to help you. It can also be mindfulness for you to have the confidence to do what you are wanting to do. The next adventure the Queen of Wands says, yes, you can. Have that self-belief. How can we help ourselves? The Lover's Card, number six, says, choose with care. Make your choices and decisions from the heart. Look at all your options, look at them carefully, and then make balanced and careful choices. Balance here, balance here in your decision-making. And helping you do that, we have the King of Pencils. We've got a Queen of Wands, the King of Pencils. Again, the Kings are authority figures. The King of Pencils brings in advice, brings in information. Very often an expert in complex paperwork. So it could be a legal issue, a new contract, a financial issue or financial papers that need explaining. Here comes the King of Pencil with, with the advice and the suggestions that you need. So in order to make your sound and balanced decisions, it may be sensible to take professional and expert advice. When you do that, the outcome card here, you have another night. All of the knights in the deck have motorbikes. They're all riding them, except for this knight of coins who's looking at the map. So the knight of coins is very much an energy of plan A, plan B, and plan C if you need it. When the knight of coins has studied this map, they'll be back on the bike, and two key bits of information are they will know exactly where they are going, and they will know exactly how to get there. So planning step-by-step -step plans are key as well this week. So just to summarise, stay balanced, just go steady, no rush decisions. Time to start on the next adventure and celebrate a job well done. Here's your confidence, have the confidence and self-belief in and be confident enough to take those next steps. Choose carefully, choose wisely, take advice, 
make sure that all the complex paperwork is in place. Get your plan together, step by step, plan A, plan B and plan C, and that can propel you forward in your next adventure. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Ten of Thought says, time for you to move on, be happy and enjoy things as they get better. This is very much telling you of an improving situation. The Two of Action is about positive partnerships, somebody coming in to help you. Two heads are better than one working together with somebody else. This could be this person here bringing in you the advice and the help that you could need this week. The 20 of wisdom says, pause, reflect, realize how far you've come, realize how well you're doing, and then it'll be time to climb to wonderful new heights. This is the card that says this next adventure is ready for you. You just need to get the planning in place. The four of action says, thank you very much. This is a time for you to receive, to express gratitude. We were talking about a job well done here. This is you being appreciated for that and being recognised for that. So remember to receive with grace and with gratitude. The five of emotion says move on from the past, follow the positive signs towards happiness, take all your life experience with you, take all your pearls of wisdom with you and get ready to move forward. And the ten of life says quality family time, success is here for you. This is about security. This is about peace of mind. This is about a happy home life. This is about happiness and joy with loved ones and enjoying some quality time. So looking at the reading overall, definitely a movement forward, planning the next adventure, expect things to get better, but make your plans, detailed plans, taking advice on complex issues. When you get your plan together, there's the start of the next new adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's fantastic when you do and you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.